Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. In today's video, we are going to be creating a holiday budget for 2023. So if that is of interest to you, then please keep watching. Okay, so I have organized our finances for the rest of the year, so for Q4. I don't know why, but something took over me like two weeks ago and I decided that during my fall break from work that I kind of forgot about that's two weeks long, I was going to not only have slow mornings so I get up at like 10, 11 every day. I was, you know, not only was I going to do that and walk my dog and do other things that bring me joy, friend dates, all of that. I was also going to basically organize our entire lives for Q4 because Q4 is chronically more hectic than any other quarter. So naturally, it's time for us to set up a holiday budget and that's what we are going to be doing in today's video. Now, I do have to say, that we are going to be working off of last year's holiday budget so i feel like this shouldn't be too difficult what we're going to do is we're going to tweak the budget so i had my budget last year in fudget it's an app that i use i use it for the phone and for the computer what would a video be if my dog didn't eat and drink in the background it's actually insane it's kind of like oh seems as though she's doing something important let me just eat and drink loudly. Okay, so we're gonna screen record. I don't know what our budget was looking like last year. Like I'm looking at it now, but I haven't really looked at it. I just opened it up and I was thinking, you know, we can just tweak this and go off of this. So that is what we are going to be doing. Okay, so first of all, last year the holiday budget. Do I need to scoot over so I can put up? Yeah, we'll do that. I'll put it up over here. Last year, is this screen recording? <laughs> the holiday budget was $1,500. Okay. So let's see what this is looking like, what we're gonna be doing, I guess, this year, and then we'll see if we still need a $1,500 budget. All right, so for Halloween, last year I passed out candy for the first time ever in life. And so I have done a little preliminary work. So, <gasps> they're out of stock. How could that be? Okay, so I had done some preliminary work and I had gone to my cart on Walmart, on the Walmart app, because I wanted to see how much bulk candy was. So I found 250 pieces of candy. I'm of the impression, I feel like I bought the same amount last year, or maybe I bought two smaller bags so I could have a variety, but it seems as though one of the better deals, I guess, is to have this, <laughs> this 250 count bag. So a 250 count bag, is 26.88, which is insane. All right, another thing that I had done, which I'm on the Walmart app now, I will show it if I didn't fear that a bunch of sensitive information would pop up, but I'm on the Walmart app on my computer, and I had in my cart two, no, three, three 98 cent treat bags, and they're like these little skeleton treat bags, and there's they are a 20 count, so I thought I would get 60 of them, I'm trying to remember last year. Now we were kind of still in COVID a little bit, so maybe that, maybe I didn't get to see, maybe all the kids didn't come out, but I can't imagine more than like 40 kids came out this last time. But I'm thinking if I make like 60 bags and like 40 kids come out, I can give treat bags to my students at work. I feel like that would be like a little cute thing and I can write them a little message or just kind of try to customize it for them. That could be like a cute thing, don't you think? So I think I'm gonna automatically reserve some for my students and then the rest of them I'll pass out. So whenever I run out, then I just run out. So I'm thinking 26.88 is the cost for the candy. The bags, three packs for of the 20 count was 294. However, it's saying that it's unavailable now. And so now <laughs> I cannot, what is happening? It's saying it's unavailable. And so now I can't add it to my cart. So let's look up other treat bags perhaps with taxes, which is 131. It would be 3110. So basically we need to budget like $35 for Halloween if I'm going to do the whole shebang with the treat bags and all of that. So $35 for Halloween. Oh, no, because I'm supposed to be going to my friend's housewarming slash Halloween party, which I'm not a Halloween person if you can't tell, but I don't, I don't like run away from it. You know, I just, it's just not my thing. I just, I've never purchased a Halloween costume, but I was going to purchase a costume. It's not scary. It's not really Halloween-ish. I can honestly wear it a lot. And so for this one, 
it's gonna be 35.63. So we'll do 35 and 35 for Halloween, which is $70. So that's what we're gonna budget for Halloween. Next up, we have fall events. So honestly, I don't have a budget for fall events. I currently, there are currently no activities that we have planned that we're going to be participating in that are like strictly straight up fall-ish in nature, except for the party. I'm going to a planner meetup, but that doesn't count. Um, I'm looking and I don't really see like any straight up fall events. Apparently last year there were fall events or maybe I just budgeted 85 to be safe. So let's do, I don't know, let's do like $50. Oh, because I wanna to go to a pumpkin patch and I wanna go apple picking. Those are on my fall bucket list. But I'm trying to think how much could, I haven't done the preliminary work on this part. But how much could apple picking and pumpkin going to a pumpkin patch actually cost? You know, if we find one in our area, how much? Certainly, this isn't more than like a fifty dollar situation, right? I don't think so. So we're gonna budget fifty dollars. All right, for Thanksgiving, last year we hosted Thanksgiving, and this one forty wasn't enough because it just wasn't. So we're not hosting Thanksgiving this year. I have no plans whatsoever. Like a thousand percent regret with hosting Halloween, I mean Halloween, Thanksgiving, just based on how Thanksgiving turned out last year and how expensive it was. So there's no way ever that I'm going to pay that much money. So we're not hosting Thanksgiving. However, I'm down to like chip in on food, you know, if we go somewhere or take something or whatever. So I'm gonna do a hundred, I feel like for that. Yeah, if Thanksgiving costs more than a hundred, then there's something the matter because again, we're not hosting Thanksgiving and we don't just randomly, we don't just cook Thanksgiving for just us two, you know? So basically we're, we're expecting to be around a lot of people. And again, I'm happy to pay my share, whatever that might look like. I don't know it'll look like a hundred dollars, but just to be safe, Black Friday. I currently only have one thing that would serve me during Black Friday, our carpet shampooer, is done and we need to try to fix it or take it somewhere to be fixed. I'm not a fan of just throwing out things that can be fixed. So I have to figure out who can fix it first or if we can fix it, but we haven't taken any time to do that. But if it's not repairable, then I feel like a new carpet shampooer, considering we use it a lot, that's why it's broken. <laughs> we use it like multiple times per month. So I'm thinking that there's no way I could spend more than $200 on right? More than $200 <laughs> on a carpet shampooer. What I'm saying is I'm hoping to, if we can't repair it or get it repaired, get uh, one for, get one for Black Friday with the expectation that it would be cheaper than the, than what they're going for right now. So for which case I'm thinking like 115, 120 perhaps for a carpet shampooer. And if we can't get this one fixed, and then that would leave like $75 for other things. So we're gonna leave Black Friday at 200. I feel like that feels safe for me. Christmas events, hmm. The only Christmas events that we're currently planning to go to, one costs like $15 a pop, and then when we get there, we spend like 30, and we go there every year. So that's 30, that's like $60 for that. Um, the other one is free, unless we roast more. The two other ones we normally go to, they're free unless we roast s'mores and that costs like $5 a pack, but we normally don't roast s'mores and they have other things available for free. So for Christmas events, um, I'm gonna say 150 seems like a bit much. I'm gonna go down to 100. And this is me being generous. I literally have no idea, okay? Next up we have Christmas gifts to us. We're not really big on exchanging gifts. Now gifts for others. I each year for sure take into consideration a secret Santa gift exchange, which we often do at work, and I take into consideration purchasing gifts for other people. And really the top person is my mother-in-law because she buys us so many things for Christmas is actually insane, which is also part of the reason why we don't exchange gifts much because she, she, she always asks us each for a bigger gift item, and so we'll tell her that, and then each, and then she also just gets us little random things that we both each like. So if I'm being honest, we, that's pretty much why we don't exchange Christmas gifts. But because she goes all out, we do feel uh, it necessary to return the favor and 
and get her something as well. So I think 300 sounds good to me, okay? Then we have a holiday party. I am thinking of hosting a holiday party, but it's not gonna be for 250. So the party that I'm thinking of having is actually like a Christmas dinner or Christmas brunch or like some kind of gift exchange, something like last year that did not cost 250. So I really think 150 probably sounds better for me. 150 sounds good because we normally provide like the bigger dish and some beverages. Like let's say we're having, I don't know, some kind of wing dinner or something. We would provide the wings for everyone and then we would also maybe buy some drinks and stuff like that and then other people bring sides. So I think 150 sounds better. 150 still seems a bit much, but 150 sounds better to me. And I may have to fine tune this when we get to November, but as of right now, this is just what I'm feeling. So um, decor, I don't have any plans of buying Christmas decor this year. I feel like I have plenty, but I am gonna keep, we're gonna do $50. I am gonna keep a little budget in here in the event that we do wish to purchase any kind of decor, maybe something outside or something like that. Miscellaneous is $30 and New Year's is $50. Apparently New Year's was a part of this. I don't know, mm, I'm thinking about, I don't think, I think I put it on here each year as if we're gonna go party or do something extravagant for New Year's, but I feel like we're always at home and we don't make it to a club. So I'm kind of feeling like we can get rid of New Year's for $50. That means that we have deducted about $250, which means that if we subtract $250 from the income that I put in here, that leaves our balance at zero, which means that we're budgeting $1250 for the holidays. And I think, I was thinking of doing Friendsgiving, by the way, but that would fall, if I don't participate fully in Thanksgiving shenanigans, that would fall, I think, in Friendsgiving and Thanksgiving can be, I feel like the money that we're allotting for that can be for both, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So I feel like this budget is is good. This feels good to me. The reason why I love 1252 is because each month we save, each Friday, each week, we save $20 all year. And then at the end of the year, it it's normally like $1,000 and we use that towards holiday stuff. So. 1250 sounds really good to me because we basically already got the money for it, if that makes sense. So 1500 was a little more because we normally don't have 1500. We normally have like a thousand. So the closer we can get to 1000, the better. Although next year, maybe I'll bump it to 25 per week or 30 per week so that we can cover the whole 1250 if this is the same budget or the or 1500 or you know whatever our budget actually ends up being this year. I feel like it'll be a, an accurate depiction of what it might be like in future years. So that's gonna be our holiday budget for 2023. Let me know if there's anything that I missed, anything that you have as a part of your budget that you think that I might need to know about. Um, again, I just celebrate holidays in the way that I see fit. We celebrate holidays in the way that we see fit. So, you know, it's just based on the way, it's just based on our previous history. But I'm a very flexible, person I'm a person who adapts quite well like I don't have a whole bunch of reservations there aren't a lot of things that I won't do like again I don't gravitate towards Halloween I don't like scary stuff it's not for me but I don't shy away from it I'm not gonna go out my way to like have a Halloween party or or buy a Halloween costume or make one each year or anything like that that's not something that I'm going to do but I very much will attend a party if it's Halloween themed like I'm not gonna not attend a party um, because it's Halloween themed, or I'm not gonna just hide away for all of Halloween and shut off my lights. If kids are coming, if the, I see kids up and down the street, or which I did last year, then of course I'm happy to go buy some candy and give them some candy. I don't dress up, I just sit out there, give them some candy. Although we do have a strobe light, fog machine, and like a sound machine thing. So last year, it wasn't spooky by any means, but it definitely looked like halfway festive, but that stuff, we already have here because my husband's a DJ. <laughs> so anywho, that's gonna be our holiday budget for 2023. Again, let me know if there's anything that I miss or that I need to prep for, which is why I wanted to put this video out earlier, sooner rather than later, so that if there is anything I'm forgetting, you guys can tell me or I can 
come up with it myself of course and then just tweak the budget accordingly but that's going to be it for this video i hope that you guys enjoyed it if you did give this video a like subscribe if you're new and if you're liking what you're seeing that was fast and i will catch you guys right back here in a few days in a brand new video bye guys